Hello, my lovely Leos. So, I get excited when I do Leos because you guys know I'm a Leo too and I get, I just get super excited. <laughs> so, let's step forward. Now, Divine Spirit, please step forward for the Leos and show me this week's divine message for the Leos. Receiving. How beautiful. Wow. Wow. I mean, I think that's self-explanatory, right, Leos? Like, how incredibly beautiful. Now, Divine Spirit, please step forward for the Leo's highest and greatest good. And please show me. Ooh, got a jump card. Four of Wands. Interesting. You know, every time I see this card, I just instantly think attitude of gratitude. And when I think attitude of gratitude, I think manifestation, I think blessings, I think abundance, because that's always what it gets me. Very interesting, aka a state of receiving. Now, Divine Spirit, please step forward for the Leos and show me what is the energy for the Leos this week? What divine message do you have for the Leos this week? Okay, let's see. Spirit, what divine message do you have for the Leos this week? Ooh, interesting, Leos. Interesting. We literally start off with the Knight of Swords. Yow, wow, we got a lot of energy going on. <laughs> okay, first things first is, as I'm seeing this, number 27 receives, 789, right? Nine, I think nine abundance, nine completion, nine blessings. And even as we look at this, I really feel like you've been manifesting, Leos. And it's interesting because even with the full moon um, in Virgo that just passed, I feel like for you, because especially because Virgo is your second house, um, house of finances and money and, and material possessions, I feel like this one didn't hit you as hard. If anything, I feel like you were building yourself up, preparing for what is next. And that's exactly what's shown here. You know, I think that there's been this thing between you but this understanding that you have to balance your head and your heart it can't be one or the other I can't just I'm not robotic I don't just go 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 that I have to feel life I have to live it and truly enjoy it and then I can work and push out and do what my heart is supposed to do um and I feel like this week there's going to be a game changer I think there's going to be things that definitely switch up um I feel like there's definitely been this <laughs> I feel like you've been doing the work but I feel like you know you could be going harder and you could have be and you could be doing better. And I think this week you're going to do just that. But it's interesting because I don't think it's gonna be a push feeling. You know, usually Leos, we have this go-getter, like, oh, we wanna be the best, we're gonna go get it. I think this week we're definitely going to get it, but we're not going to lose ourselves in the process of doing it. There's definitely an understanding that things need to change this week. I feel like we definitely are taking account of, okay, what is working for us and what's not? And whatever is not, we're going to set those boundaries. We're going to put them up and it doesn't really matter who likes them because it's not about their process. It's about you. And this week you realize that this week you come to life this week. You realize that everything that you spent your time, your energy and efforts on they're paying off. And not only are they paying off, you're feeling good about it. You're seeing that there's a bigger future and that there's a bigger end game, that there's more dreams to be accomplished. And you're seeing that, wow, like I thought I was going to go here, but I'm actually bigger than this. And this week shows you that it's important to remember that. You have nobody you're competing with other than yourself. The person you were yesterday, the person you were five hours before, you know, whatever. That's it. You, only you. And it's really interesting because here we have the five of swords and we have the five of wands. You know, automatically I'm thinking, huh. You feel like you have to compete with somebody. You feel like your spot might be taken. You feel like you have to show up and show people what you're made of. And Spirit is saying that this week, you can show people what you got subtly. Like, it's kind of like everybody knows the lion is the king of the jungle, right? Like, we are. We don't have to say it when we enter a room. Let our presence speak for itself. And this week, you're going to realize that you can just, by you being you, 
and by you basking in your energy and your vibes and your essence and you being true to you and, cons and can being consistent and just showing up in the places you want to show up, not where anyone else wants you to be, but wherever you want to be, it's going to pay off big time. Now, the one thing I will say is this week, you might start to realize who doesn't vibe with you and who doesn't belong with you and who doesn't, you know, really match your, your, your tribe of people. And whatever doesn't work for you this week, you're going to be knocking it out of your way. And there's not going to be any sorries. There's not going to be any apologies. Because whatever aha moment comes in, whatever epiphany you have this week, that's like, huh, I got to do things different. I'm going to switch it up because I'm not living like X, Y, and Z no more. Or, or I'm not accepting X, Y, and Z. That's it. Once you made up that thing in your mind, that truth for yourself, that's the truth. And no one is going to be able to come in and interfere with it anymore, not even yourself. You're not going to play these mind games with yourself. You've learned balance a long time ago, and now this is the week you're really applying it. I'm super excited for you because this is a week you're going to receive. I mean, your blessings are literally being answered. You're coming back to life with this energy. Literally, literally, things are moving forward for you. This is so exciting. I'm, I, I look forward to this week myself. <laughs> um, so, yeah, many, many blessings, and I'll catch you guys next week. A lot to look forward to. Bye.